And the hard-hitting American Alicia Baumgartner makes her first defense of the WBC super featherweight title that she won in knockout style last November. And Edith Matisse in the red trunks knows what it means to be unified champion in the weight below. She held the WBA and WBC belts concurrently, but that was seven years ago now. Her best years are behind her, but what an opportunity to upset the odds in the twilight of her career and a chance to become a two-weight world champion. She's well up against it though, Chris. I mean, talk about ways of winning a world title. The way that Alicia Baumgarten had done against Terry Arpo, it was so spectacular, it really was, wasn't it? She's a, she's a very good fighter, so powerful, can punch with both hands. She's very intelligent with her head moving up, she's throwing her right hand, she, she takes it off centre line. You can see there the aggression, biting down on the gum, she'll put four shots together, so smart, so quick. But Matisse, she's stocky, she's aggressive naturally, but not being able to here. She's going to have to call on all that experience, being a former two-time world champion. But she's up against it, she really is. I, I think that Alicia's, um, you know, amateur pedigree really comes through with her balance and just her footwork. You know, she's got great balance, you know, and using that jab, just just stabbing it right out there. You know, she's, she's always well-balanced. Matisse here just pushing up to her and trying to put the pressure on her. Where the first round she kind of was going back a little bit, but um, it looks like Alicia is really, you know, really controlling this fight. Beautiful. There's that shot. That's that shot. That counter right hand. Beautiful shot from She's Alicia. She's just pouring that jab out, Matisse. Yeah. She she just looks really slow and she can't afford to to poke that jab out like the way she just did because she will get countered over the top of that right hand. Of course, the temptation to to rush in for the Argentinian with that lead left hand, almost Roy Jones low at times for Baumgartner, but it's by design. And it was a stiff, solid right hand down the middle, and that was what she hurt Terry Harper with on the tempo in the fourth round of their encounter at the back end of last year. And she looks comfortable here in her rhythm. She's definitely got a rhythm now. She's... You can see Matisse is trying to like rough her up a little bit like what you were talking about Chris earlier. From what we've seen in these first four minutes, looks like her, her only hope at this stage of, of her career and again just walks into a stinging counter right hand from the American champion. No doubt she marauds forward again just walking into straight fizzing shots from Baumgartner who now she's in cruise control, but starting to just turn the heat up on her challenger, who will be feeling her age in there. Well, the, the, the toughness in that Matisse family obviously runs through their blood because she's taken some big shots against this classy champion in Baumgarten. And she's still there, she's still trying the Argentinian, but she's just second best in every department. She, she's so mesmerizing to watch, you know, just her feet, you know, just the sharpness of her hands. It is quite mesmerizing. And I feel like even, you know, Matisse is even getting a little bit mesmerized. They're just standing there, you know. Um, you know, I don't think she has an answer for anything. She's just taking the power out of the shots a little bit here, Baumgartner. Just trying to soften. Oh, beautiful right uppercut. Yeah, just trying to soften Matisse up. You see her, she'll throw three or four soft shots and then she'll really bite down on the gum shield and let a big right hand go. Uh, it will be fascinating to see her in the ring, potentially with Michaela Mayer later this year or early next, who will be at a big size disadvantage. Mayer, a huge 130-pounder with the skills that she has, the explosive punching power. And, like well, the repertoire we're seeing now so, yeah, gives like her a chance variety. against anyone, yeah. She's throwing a lot more variety now. She's doing those screw, like the screw-up up punches, you know, body, throwing the body a lot more. That variety is nice to see with the punches. Up and down, changing levels, and adding that feet in there. Look at her; she's just she's she's loving it in there. She looks like she's having a lot of fun. She's just back on the jab, but centering Baumgartner again, just baiting, trying to draw something out of the Argentinian. You, you can see through the seven rounds, total punches landed 215 from. Baumgartner throwing 80 landed at 37%. Connect to Matisse, just 26 of 184. And well, the numbers don't always tell you the story of the fight, but they kind of do in this one. 
Yeah, she's uh, she's in complete control. She really is. Not got out of second gear. Occasionally she'll let you know a barrage of punches go. Really classy combinations, but it's been very very easy for Baumgartner at the minute. Just controlling things behind a beautiful jab. You see her there throwing the right hand, taking the head off centre line. Masise doing well. TC landed her right then at the yeah. same time as well. Oh, walked right into that one. Marauding forward, yeah, letting the hands go, but she tends to be wide down the middle when she does rush forwards and just see the pain etched on her face there, sweat in the eyes as well. She had to dig in here. Baumgartner just waiting, stalking. Trying to find the perfect moment. Yeah, I'm surprised she's not found that right hand that she throws there. Just as I say it, more often the uppercuts as well in the first round. As again, as I say it, she throws it. I thought the the, the, the uppercuts in the first and second round were really eye-catching, and she was having success, but sort of neglected the shot. Hasn't thrown it as much as I'd like. Well, you can see the card there, but I don't think it's really required it's uh, been about as clear a, a shutout as you're likely to see in a, a championship contest with Tisse, a, a faded version of her former self and, and Baumgartner very much entering her prime years as a world champion and the difference has been absolutely night and day from the start she's just going to pot shot her way to victory over the next two minutes will she put her shots together and, and try and get Matisse out of there lovely right hand off the double jab yeah, no, I, I would personally, I mean, look, she hasn't put a foot wrong. She's, she's certainly won every single round. I'd like to see her empty the tank and really go for the finish. I mean, that's all that's missing from this display. Good five-shot combination there, lovely. Yeah, more of that, let the hands go. Yeah, here in we the go. last round. Yeah, I think the threat that's, that's coming back is, if it was a threat at the beginning, it's diminished completely now, and she will know the danger of getting caught is unlikely at this stage. If Michaela Meyer will be watching this. She is in the UK tonight, of course. And there have been some words exchanged between the pair of them. What a fight that is going to be later down the line. Jimmy Choi, of course, in the mix too, to come next, we believe. And Baumgartner here just cruising to victory over 10. And T Sage just wings in a left hook. It's laboured now. And the hand speed of the American still there, still sharp. It's just a, a lot of head hunting, though. I would really love to see her go to the body, you know. She's throwing all these punches to, to, to the head, but, you know, she did those three, four combos and then body shots and then back to the head. Like, that's, that's, now she's sitting in the body. That's the kind of, uh, you know, the flurries or the combos that would really have an effect here, I think. Like, she's hearing me. <laughs> yeah, she took your advice there. That's another one, too, to the head off the back of it. Left it to the body, works away. Trying to Count chop the tree down right to the final bell. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds here in Manchester, England, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges score this bout identically. 100 to 90 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the super featherweight champion of the world, Alicia, the Bond Bungardner.